What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to a nighttime episode of Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke. This is episode number 19. This is the 65th time that I've tried to record this today, but we won't get into that. In the last episode, which was yesterday, we took on Chuck, the gym leader of the Cyan Wood Gym, and we wrecked him, we destroyed him, and then we took on Yusin. Obviously, we beat him, but not everybody came out of it alive. So if you missed yesterday's episode, you can click on the card that's just above my face um, so you can see that episode. And today's episode is going to be a little bit of a weird episode, uh, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to do it. I kind of regret doing it this way, but that's okay. Um, we're going to start off by getting two encounters in cities past. I just thought of another city we can go to. So we might do uh, three cities, actually. Uh, and then we're going to jump into a short grinding montage to get just a couple levels so that I can take on Jasmine in Olivine City and feel comfortable doing so. So if you're excited for today's episode, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new. This is a great series. I, I really, really enjoy this series. So uh, subscribe so you can see all that stuff. Now we're starting off this episode as we do every episode, talking to Lisa, Scott, are you awake? Hi, do you have some free time? I've got all sorts of time. If you're free, would you like to battle? Ooh! Ah! That's out of tune. I've never noticed that before. The tone is out of tune. Okay, so here's what we need to do. First off, I need to make sure I'm in the camera. I think I am. I think I am. We need to teach Fly. Oh! Let's do a team recap real quick so I can, uh, so I can decide what I need to do. So, first up we have Clovis, our flying type swine up with sludge, uh, sludge cut, surf, and mud slap. So sludge can go there if we need to. Good special attack, good special defense, good defense. Next up we have Rajiv, the ice ground type Heracross with the quick claw uh, because he's slow as all. Uh, we have cross chop, dizzy punch, thunderbolt, and horn attack. Maybe we could get fly here. Cross Chop's really the only move I ever use. Cross Chop and Dizzy Punch are like the only two moves I ever use. Um, really good special attack, good special defense, terrible speed. Next up we have Sophronia, the ghost type Ponyta. <laughs> that kind of works. Uh, with high, oh no, we gotta teach it here for sure. High Jump Kip, Sleep Powder, Triple Kick, and Bubble. All those moves suck. High Jump Kick's not horrible, I guess, because uh, it doesn't have a lot of recoil, but we have good attack and good special attack and good speed as well. Next up we have Haynes, our ground bug type Arcanine with Dragon Rage, Rollout, Bone Club, and Ice Punch. He kind of needs some help too. Whoa. That attack and defense are amazing. Oh my goodness. And lastly, I think, lastly, yeah. Lastly, we have, we all know who this Pokemon is. If you haven't seen this, if this is your first time seeing this series, um, then you don't know who this is, but just know. Without this Pokemon, we lose. This way is Sarah, our Grass Poison type Dragonite. On the Amulet Coin with Strength, Will, and Kick, Dizzy Punch, Octazooka, with great stats. But Haynes is apparently our strongest? That's news to me. So let's boot up this fly. Haynes or Sophronia? What does Haynes have again? No! Nope, I have to restart. Did I save? Surely I saved. Surely I saved. Hold on, let's get back around to where we just were. <laughs> Come on, game. Cooperate with me. Alright, we're going to teach us this Sophronia instead. And we're going to get rid of... We get rid of Bubble. Bubble hasn't been good for us. We're gonna learn Fly. Okay, so now we are jumping in. That was about a five minute. I'm trying to do a little quicker. Uh, first up, we're gonna come here to Cherry Grove. Now we have Surf, of course. So let's go talk to this this uh, chubby guy. I'll say it. We have a Mystic Water. That's good. All right, let's find a Surfing Pokemon. 
And this is our Cherry Grove City encounter. It is... <gasps> oh my gosh! 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 <laughs> okay, let's switch into Sophronia. Okay, this is real. This is real. This is real. This is real. This is Fire Blast! Okay, so we put it to sleep. Oh, there's no way I can know what type it is. Ah, oh, crap, 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 crap. There's no way I can know anything. Okay. I'm thinking Dragon Rage is our best option. I'm thinking Dragon Rage is our best option. I could triple kick, but if it hits more than once, that could be big trouble. I could Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt doesn't do a lot. I could Sludge. Sludge doesn't do a lot. You know what, Clovis? You've been good for us, Clovis. 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 Clovis, you understand if you mess this up, you're off the team. Clovis, 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 Cl What is this Mew's move set? Okay, that's good. You will not crit, Clovis. You also not die? Okay. <laughs> you will not crit, Clovis. Master ball. I have a 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 master ball. It will live one poison. It will live one poison. I should have used the fastball. I forgot I had a fastball. It will live one poison. play like that. You throw a Mew at me, I'm going to catch it. Could I have caught it in something else? Absolutely. I absolutely could have caught it in something else. Oh my goodness! That, what? How? Ah. Mew, the new species Pokemon. Because it can learn any move, some people began research to see if it is the ancestor of all Pokemon. All right, now I do have to be fair. I can't just give this a special name. We have Uriel, the Mew. Oh my God, we have a Mew. Oh my goodness. Our Mew is about to die. Let's just evaluate that for a second. But we have Mew, the ice normal type. If we get hit by a fighting move, we will literally pop. Mew will just, He'll cease to exist. And this moveset is terrible. We have Sand Attack, Blizzard, Fire Blast, Hyper Fang. And our stats are pretty low. Okay. That's just something I'm going to have to accept. Now, hold on. One. Yeah, we're not going to make it. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe it. I, I just. I can't. Believe it! That is amazing! Here's what we're gonna do. 
Um, I don't need to catch any more Pokemon. The team is like it's going to be. It doesn't matter what we get. It will not replace what we just caught. So uh, we're going to jump into a short grinding montage that will be in the episode, I think. I might put it at the end, but we're going to jump into a, a, a grinding montage, and then we're going to take on the Olivine City Gym in just a minute. So we'll be back once we finish grinding up our team. For you, it will have just been a second that we just cut back over to here to Olivine City. Uh, for me, it was about 45 minutes or so. We are going to put the grinding montage at the end of the episode. Just so if you don't want to watch it, you can just watch the first, you know, 15, 17, 20 minutes, however long it is, and then jump to the end. So we did do a grinding montage, like I said. You can see our squad here. Most everybody we got to 32, but of course, we got Uriel, uh, Ur Uriel, I think we'll go with Uriel, um, our Mew up to level 34. We did teach it Flamethrower, went to Goldenrod City and found this TM in the, um, in the big shopping center. We taught him Cut. Uh, he does still have Fire Blast and Thunder Fang. So like I wanna, I wanna look at it. There's a couple, like the HMs. I wish he could learn Strength cause Strength is a strong ghost type move. He can't learn that. Can he learn Fly? See he can't learn a lot of stuff which is dumb. Cause Mew typically can learn everything. So I was really hopeful at first, but um, this is what we're gonna go with. He is okay. I think we're going to let Sophrina, uh, Sophronia lead us into the gym. Uh, let me check. I don't know. How are my items? I can't believe we caught a Mew. I can't believe we caught a Mew. Alright, we have, we, we have enough. So let's go ahead and run around here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta go up here first. So we are going to use a bit of the speed up button today. So hey, question of the day is going to be who is your favorite Pokemon and why? I don't... I don't think I've done this question. And if I have, well... Today is just very fitting for it. So, um... So here's Jasmine. Will that medicine cure Amphi? Yes. Um, please don't be offended. Amphi won't take anything from stupid blood... <clears throat> Stupid people like you, uh, stu- from- from anyone but me! Alright, Jasmine, you got it. <laughs> Amphi, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm so relieved! This is just so wonderful! Thank you so very much! I'll return to the gym! Okay, so where'd she go? Oh, I have no idea what just happened. Okay, I bet she just jumped down here. Alright, gym time! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Also, it's very late at night, so like, I'm not sure. I hope my brain is turned on. Look at how, look at how awesomely designed this gym is. It's, it's so unique. Alright, let's face away. So after we finish this game, we start doing Johto Gym Leader tier list. Uh, you can already imagine what I'm going to say about this gym. <sighs> I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. <sighs> Alright. Sleep powder. Excuse me. Sleep powder and a high jump kick. That's our strategy. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the steel type. Do you know about the steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, may I begin? Yeah, bring it. Bring it on, Jasmine. What are you gonna have? What are you gonna have? You don't even know what I have in the back. You don't even know it. You have an A-Palm. She has an A-Palm. You have an A-Palm. A level 33 A-Palm. We ain't worried about nothing. But to be safe, let's go ahead and put it to sleep. And then we're gonna use high jump kick. Because even if we miss, it does like three or four points of damage. Okay, that's not very effective. And he woke up. And Fury Attack is... Fury Attack always seems to hurt my Pokemon. Come on, don't hit five times. That's so annoying. Alright, I'm going to heal. Because I, I don't want to lose any more Pokemon. This, this squad is good. 
Bone club? Okay, we can we can take that. How about fly? Nah, we ain't sitting around for your fury attack animations anymore. Well, that's not very effective either. Alright, so let's evaluate. Grass is not very effective and fire is not very effective. What the heck? Triple kick? There you go! Works for me! Alright, what you got? What you got? You sent out a Voltorb! What's a Voltorb gonna do? I don't know, I'm scared. Dizzy Punch, that's a rock... Okay, well that did enough that I'm gonna go ahead and switch. Let's go to... Let's go to Rajiv. I hope that I don't wind up being too scared to use Mew because I don't want him to die. That would be a little... That does so much. Okay, so you trap me in here. So does that mean you have a move that's gonna kill me? Like extreme speed? Extreme speed kills everything. That's not very effective. How about cross chop? So we know that Dizzy Punch does a... unbelievably annoying that is so unbelievably annoying level 39 it doesn't crit me we'll be okay okay that's very good that it got confused we're speeding up because it's it's taking a very long time what, what does Octazuka do nothing so the strategy should be I think what's Octazuka a bit Okay. Okay, if I know my typings, we should be okay against Aurora Beam. Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage always does 30. I need this thing to miss. Why is it not missing? Thank you. And it crits me! Come on! Alright. So it's just using a steel type move, and it's a steel type itself. I think we should be okay. Oh my god. Well, 
Like, at this point, I'm kind of only doing this... I could have done this so long ago. Oh my goodness, why didn't I do this? Oh my goodness, and this is going to be super effective! Oh my god, I lost all of them for no reason! I lost all of them for no reason! All because I didn't remember that high jump kick was a fire move! Dang it! No, I'm not doing this! Jasmine, I love you to death, but you just... Recover! You give it the... That's the end of the episode. Uh, in today's episode, we caught ourselves a Mew, and then we got completely obliterated by this stupid gym leader that then gave us recover in the next episode, which will be tomorrow, to finish off our week. Uh, we're going to attempt to rebuild. We're going to head to the two areas that I talked about at the beginning of the episode. Uh, that's going to be a Goldenrod City area and Ecritique, and we're going to catch two more Mons and then probably train up just a little bit. And then, of course, we have more encounters to the uh, to the east of Ecritique City on the way to Mahogany Town, and we're going to do that tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's episode, as in if you either like Mew, or if you like seeing our team getting completely freaking blown away, hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe so you can see a whole lot more Pokemon Crystal and a whole lot of other stuff. Digimon, Zelda coming soon, Mario Kart, ARMS, shiny reactions like there's there's so much there's so much i'm so this was so, this episode started on such a high and it ends on such a low but um we'll be back tomorrow with more pokemon crystal the completely randomized nuzlocke until then have a blessed day